The residential design category recognizes works of landscape architecture that exhibit distinction in design, function, context, and environmental responsibility. Entries include single or multi-family projects and may be new construction or renovation. Receiving honor awards in residential design are Yard by Two Ink Studio for the Key Development Group. This is an amazing rooftop garden. With all the materials squeezed into this tight site, it is nothing short of phenomenal. Most commendable, noted the jury, is that this roof garden is open to the public during business hours. To have access to all these incredible views, remarked a juror, from what might otherwise be a private garden is truly impactful. Instead of settling for a flat, boxy roof, the developer gave up space that could have been rented. The resulting creative interaction between architecture and landscaping is memorable. It was a shrewd way to brand the building, setting it apart from a competitive real estate marketplace, and the market has responded positively to it. As a concept, the jury noted it's pretty brilliant. One juror quipped it was a beautifully designed dorm for millennials. Sustaining a cultural icon, reconciling preservation and stewardship in a changing world by Reed Hildebrand for Dorrance Hill Hamilton. The jury felt that if you look at the garden before and after it was restored, the transformation is pretty incredible. Among the many creative gestures, the plant palette was switched to be in tune with contemporary practices, and there wasn't any skimping on materials. The project's brilliant outcome is clearly consistent with the Olmsted's original vision. But perhaps most incredible is the fact that anyone can do this, buy a parcel of land and tear down a house for the purpose of restoring a garden. This alone is worthy of being celebrated. It's amazing, jurors exclaimed. Receiving the Award of Excellence in Residential Design is Balconist Residence by Word and Car Design Group. What I liked about this project, observed a juror, is that this is not a pompous garden. It's not about luxury. Instead, it celebrates the materiality of the location. Jurors applauded the textures of the elements. The coarseness of the plant material plays beautifully off the coarseness of the concrete and the gravel of the driveways. The center of the garden and back is essentially all mineral, including the ledge that's there, and it all works. Jurors felt that many projects try to do this and fail, but this one is very well done. If you walked up and told me you were going to build me a concrete house, said one juror, I would have shuddered, but this is really beautiful.